So I had this tumbler turner made. And although the concept is pretty good, it's a lot of problems with that. See, the hole was too big. Too many wires everywhere. But I'm going to um, attempt to make one myself with some simple things instead of this, which will be corrected. Just the person who made it won't correct it, so I will correct it myself. But let's get to this other turn. I'm going to show you how to make a cup turner with a char bra rotisserie turner brush and a wooden crate. So let's get started. Okay, okay, okay. I am getting ready to show you how to do a um, tumbler turner with a rotisserie. Electric rotisserie by Charbroil. I showed that at the beginning, but let me show you the box. Okay. It is called a rotisserie term brooch. I think term brooch. Okay. So, Charbroil. Okay. This retails on Amazon for about 38 bucks. I will link that in the comments. I am in the associate program, so if you use that link, I will get a small fee for it. And I use that money to do stuff like this. But anyway, you will need that. And when you open that up, you'll get a big bag of stuff. But the only thing you're going to need out of that box is... Of course, the rotisserie rod, I'm trying not to lose my screws here, I got laying down, the brackets, the motor, and this little doohickamy thingy me do, okay? I don't know what it's called, so, okay. So that, that's the only thing you're going to need. Everything else you can put to the side and put it in your catch-all drawer. Okay, so I have this crate. You can also get this at Amazon. I will link that. But you can get this at Walmart. You can get this at Hobby Lobby. You can get this at Michael's. When you get your discounts, make sure you sign up for them um, crafting stores. When you get your 60% discount or your normal everyday 40% discount, Go ahead and you can pick up one of these. I, um, on Amazon, it's $9.87. It's about the same in the store, like $10.99 to either $9.99. So, you can get it from wherever you want. But the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your brackets. And give me a second while I change the camera up. Well, I'm going to change the crate so you can see it. So, give me a second. Okay. As you can see, I already have one on there. Um, this one is a char drawer. Let's see, what's the name of this? Electric rotisserie. So, this is this one. It's a little bit longer because it's actually two poles. But, fortunately, I stay next to Columbus, Georgia. And the char drawer factory is actually here, so... I got these for $15 a piece, so I bought both of them. Okay, so I got my crate. And what I did was I pre-drilled the holes, guys, because I didn't want y'all to have to listen to all that. So the way you do it, you take the flat one. This is going to be the front of your turner. You put it on so that it is flush with the front of, well, I mean, with the edge of the crate. So this resting piece right here will be flush with the edge of the crate. So your rotisserie is actually going to sit there. So 
I've already pre-drilled my holes. And you can take a drill and pre-drill your holes. And you can also put it in with a drill. But I'm scared of the dang on thing. So I'm not going to do that. So for the front, I use the short screws. So that are these. These are sheet metal screws. And it's six by three fourths. That's what I use in the front. So I pre drill my hole. What you would do is you would mark it off, put your plate there, make sure it's going to be level where you want it because you want it sitting right on the edge because that's where you're going to put the other one in the back. Pre drill your holes and then take your screws and put your screws in. So. Let me take my screws. I got them laying out, y'all. Again, I pre-drilled mine, so I just didn't want y'all to have to wait for that. So give me a minute. Let me get these screwed in. So I decided that took too much work, so I'm going to go ahead and use this drill. Okay, I'm not going to put it in too tight because I got to take it off again because I got to lie tonight. So I'm just going to take it off. So make sure you get that in tight. And once you get it in tight, it's going to be set on there. Now what I will do is I will put a washer right there. Okay, I'm planning on going to the store in the morning and get a washer, either try to get one tonight before the um, live, but I will put a washer there so that it'll sit flush, okay? Then you're going to turn it on the back. For this side, I use the longer screws, so I use these. These are steel sheet metal, and they're 8 by one You can get larger, longer, whatever. Whichever way, but this will go the same way. Okay, it'll go flush with the edge of the crate. And I use these two holes to drill because you're, you can use, I guess these two would be perfectly fine if that's what you wanted to do. Or if you want to secure with four, six, whatever. But I just use these two. So give me a second. Let me put these in. And these also, you can put a wash in there. But you can get a screw with a big head on it so it won't go through there. So give me a second. I'm going to screw these on. Okay, the screws are in. Again, you need a washer right there. That'll make it perfect. So I will get washers and put on there. You put the motor in. It's a little slot that you slip on here. Click. Once that is in, you only have to put the bar on there and then you'll be ready to set it up as a tumbler turner. So... The neat thing about this also is you can use the inside for storage space, right? And it's pretty portable also. So if you want to go to trade shows, you can actually take the um, rotisserie bar off. You can actually take that off, okay? And put your um, equipment in here and carry it as just one crate. Okay, so what you would do next is you would take your rotisserie. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this. So you're going to put it on this way with the smaller end pointing toward the motor and the screw pointing toward the other end. So you're going to put it on the rest. Put 
it at the top so you can screw it. Yeah, I guess that would work. You can put it at that end. And what you do is you pull it flush to the bracket. Then you tighten up the screw. So righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay, now to keep it in there. So let me hook this up. Yeah, this cord, this is a bad thing about it. This cord is so short. I don't even think it's a foot long. So I only have this right here, but I'm going to have to put an extension cord on it or something because this is not going to work for me. But let me get it plugged in. Lord, how am I And I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually turning, okay? It's actually turning. And let me show you how to get it ready for your turner. And this was the easiest part. So, I just, okay. I just take the Nerf balls from the Dollar Tree, the one with the rocket on it, pull it out, and stab it on here. Now, you can, and I push it all the way through, okay? You can use the um, PVC, and I'll show you how to do that. Hold on. Yeah, I'm trying to reach over here. Okay. Hold up. Okay, so this one is really short, but it's still fine. I put it all the way through, and that's how I turn. Now, if you want to use the PVC, the way I saw it done is, but I use these, so it's not a problem with me. They're stable, and I'll turn it for you. But these are Nerf balls, and these are also on Amazon, and I'll link that again. If you use my link, it won't change the price for you, but it will give me a couple of cents so I can buy stuff to make videos like this, but... The way they did it is, they took these Nerf balls and split them in half and glued them on this pole, the rotisserie rack, and they did about three of them. And these fit perfectly in the PVC, so they're on there and they just push the PVC in there and it fits perfectly. I didn't see a reason to do it. So I just use the ones because these are the ones I use all the time. But you can figure out how you're going to get on the, um, the end. I just wanted to basically show you how to make this cheap, quick, 15-minute tumbler timer. Okay? And you can put however many you want on there. I believe you can even put them this way. But this, again, this rotisserie char bar, it was $38 on Amazon. Of course, I'm by the factory, so I bought mine from the factory. But it's $38 on Amazon. These little balls was, I think... Seven dollars on Amazon, seven to eight dollars. But they sell them at Walmart if you didn't want to wait on Amazon. But this crate you can get from Amazon. I would link that also. But you can get it from Walmart, Michaels, Hobby Lobby if you got one of them forty percent coupons, sixty percent coupons, or whatever. Remember, if you use any of my links that I use, it won't change the price for you. It would just give me a small amount and i use that to make these videos that i really like to do so thank you for watching i hope you got something out of it i hope you try this and if you do 
Send me a picture of it. I'm going to tell you where you can send the picture. I have a Facebook group that I would love for you to join if you already have it. And I will link that also in the um, down below in the description. It's Crooked Crafting, the beginning and beyond for all crafters. Even if you don't use a Cricut, that's just the name of the group because I happen to use a Cricut. So that's what I named it. So any kind of crafting. Cricut, silhouette, sewing, baking, whatever your craft is, I invite you to join the group. So thank you and remember to subscribe and like this channel. Thank y'all so much.